Are you ready to learn how to use ChatGPT or AI for your admin tasks as a virtual assistant? If this is the first time on my channel, my name is Leanne Laila Kaba. I run a virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines, 2XU, and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, this video is part of a series that I'm doing on how to use ChatGPT for your daily work. And I've done a lot of really cool videos on the different ways that you can use different prompts so you can get the best results with ChatGPT. This is also all about our new product in 2XU, which is the AI Prompt Assistant. So it is basically a collection of prompts that our assistants have used and now I've used and our clients have used in 2XU. So you can see that we have a section just for executive assistants or virtual assistants and also a section for entrepreneurs. So a lot of the content that I'm putting out in this video are content that you can find fully in our product. And if you guys want to be able to access it, make sure to hit the link below so you can grab the template. As a virtual assistant, one of the things that you will need a lot of support on is going to be for your admin tasks. And the biggest reason for this is admin tasks are usually repetitive, are easy to systematize, and most of the time it's going to be one of the ways that ChatGPT or honestly any AI language tool can help you make it just easier and faster for you on your end. The first part is email management. So email management, if you don't have any idea what it is or if you just need a good refresher, it's basically the process of managing the email of your client or of the company that you're working with and making sure that you're cleaning up anything that might be spam or is not worth looking at and also making sure that you either prioritize the things that you can't respond to and making sure the right person sees it or it could also be that you're the one responding to those emails, especially if you already have the templates, which will build some of them into ChatGPT and I'll show you how to do it. So on the AI Prompt Assistant, if you scroll down, uh, we'll focus on the entrepreneur side so you can see how that's built. So on the email management side, we have right here, you know, setting up ChatGPT. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and copy and paste this into ChatGPT. So if you've never seen ChatGPT before, this is how you set it up. So go ahead and just paste. And then, of course, make sure that you fill out the things that are in here. So I run, so pretend that you are your client, for example. Um, for me, it's easy to remember. It's just I run a virtual assistant agency and my clients are uh, solo ba uh, solopreneurs who have a service-based business and I would like to create assistance in creating and managing my emails. Are you ready? So when you put that, when you hit enter, ChatGPT will just say, yep, ready to help you out in whatever it is that you need. So you're setting up ChatGPT with a background about who you are, who you're serving basically. So then when they give you responses, when they give you templates and things like that, it's already specific to you and the business that you are working with your clients. So for example, uh, you can add here like, hey, my business name is, you know, blah 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 so actually I'm going to rewrite this just because like as you guys are um, here I'm gonna go click hit rewrite I am a executive assistant to the founder of a virtual assistant agency so just adding that I am an executive assistant to the founder of a virtual assistant agency and my clients our clients are so partners so basically um, my clients emails are you ready so we've tweaked this a bit so then it matches you as the virtual assistant so i'm gonna get i'm gonna hit save and submit and basically it was it yep ready to help you so then we're gonna go back and here one of the first examples that we have is drafting business emails so this is one of the cool ways that you can use chat gpt for it's just drafting out emails right off the bat or in other ways you can ask it to create uh, templates for you. So create five different types of email templates that I can use for emailing potential clients and the sequence end of scheduling it. So there you go. Right off the bat, ChatGPT is already writing out the email templates that you can use as a virtual assistant to send out to your client's target audience. It also gives you the background. It also shows you, hey, make sure that you change this so then you don't miss that when you're sending out those emails. So that's kind of one of the really cool things right off the bat of the thing with ChatGPT. Plus, because we customized it, we said we're a virtual assistant agency right there, came across your business with your products i believe we can help scale your business by taking care of your admin tasks and freeing up your time to focus on growth so 
experience in providing virtual assistants. There you go. That's kind of the power of making sure they you introduce yourself in some way instead of chat GPT. This was something that I learned from a friend of mine, Jeff Hunter, which he has a whole course on building your AI persona method. I'm just keeping it short here because that is his idea. Other than that, you can also ask chat GPT to write up responses to emails. So switching back again to the AI prompt assistant. Uh, so can you create a reply to this email? So let's say that you know we already sent, for example, like the template already uh, to the potential client. They said, yep, I'm interested. I run a YouTube channel. How can assistant help? Click enter to that. And again, ChatGPT will already generate the response for you. So then all you have to do is actually just edit. You already have the first draft. Then you have to just customize it to what your company does offer. Or again, you can train ChatGPT on what that is and it can create more and more specific responses for you. So is that really cool and magical? Next thing that ChatGPT can help you with is calendar management. Now, calendar management, again, as a refresher, is you as a virtual assistant making sure that there are no overlapping calendar invites or events for your client. It's also setting up those calendar invites and making sure that anyone who's supposed to be there is informed. It also could be setting up the agenda for those calendar invites or meetings. So I'm going to go ahead actually and wipe this. I'm going to delete this part of it because we don't really need it anymore. Click on new chat for ChatGPT and then same thing of how we set up the calendar earlier so in the calendar management side for the virtual assistant for the AI prompt assistant it's just like make sure they you introduce yourself so it can be as specific as possible so I'm a virtual assistant working for a nature of a business so same thing as earlier so then it's putting in here a uh, virtual assistant agency can you create steps for best practices for me to follow in managing my client's calendar so this is for if you're trying to brainstorm what this could be for you that's kind of a good first prompt that you can put in again you're giving chat gpt the idea of who you are what you do and what or how they can help you so there's three main ways that you can use chat gpt for calendar management first one is creating the calendar invite description so you've given it the context of like hey can you create this calendar invite description uh with a call with a new client in the meeting will be the pod manager and onboarding manager. So it will create a calendar invite description based on that. So you now have the title for what goes into Google Calendar. We have the description that is basically the, you know, agenda already of that meeting. And then it's like all in one place. Again, you just have to customize it of what they are, you know, who's going to be there, so on and so forth. But then it's easy for you. You don't have to, again, start from scratch. Two other ways you can use ChatGPT for calendar management. One is creating events. So you can ask ChatGPT to, hey, can you help me create this event that I'm doing? Uh, you know, my client is doing X, Y, and Z webinar, you know, and then can you create like the step-by-step -step process of how I would be able to do that? So then ChatGPT will break down your to-dos on how to create that event. Another way that you can use ChatGPT is writing out your ideal week or your client's ideal week. So it could be you tell ChatGPT, hey, you know, can you create my ideal week? My priorities are X, Y, and Z. Can you write out, you know, day by day in a week what I should be focusing on and when? So again, it will help plan that out for you so then you don't have to do it. It's going to be super easy and you already have a process that you can follow. Next way that you can use ChatGPT is file management. Now, file management is making sure, of course, that things that need to be put away or filed are in the right place. You know, you have dashboards, you have a filing way to put in, you know, documents go here, templates go here. So the ways that you can use ChatGPT for that is first thing is creating a file management system. So for example, you can ask ChatGPT, hey, my client is a virtual assistant agency owner. We need a filing system for their clients. Can you walk me through different labels or tags or information that I can put into our filing system or using Google Drive, what would the folders look like? So then you're, again, being very specific of the outcome that you need, and then ChatGPT will go out with that. Another way is kind of already from the same prompt is like creating a naming system. So if you need a way that you are able to uniform how things are stored and where, having a good naming system for the documents is going to make it so much easier for you to find those documents later on. So again, same thing, you can ask ChatGPT to help you a naming system or a filing system for that. Next cool way that you can use ChatGPT is for lead generation. So if you don't have lead generation, it's basically the process of generating leads for your client. So you're trying to get people interested in your client's business. So there's three ways that you can use ChatGPT for that. One is creating email sequences. So the same thing that we used earlier on the email management side is you can ask it like, hey, can you create an email template sequence where I can reach out to people on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, wherever that would be, where they would want to hop on a call with us. 
Another way that you can use ChatGPT for lead generation is to narrow down who to target. You can describe to ChatGPT, hey, this is my client's business. The common kind of clients that we've had before are X, Y, and Z. Who else should we target for our lead generation? And this will give you a whole bunch of ideas of who to target on different platforms. Another way that you can use ChatGPT for lead generation is to create a follow-up process. So what this means is there's a way for you to have a like hey you know we haven't heard from this client in three days let's send up a follow-up we haven't heard from them in seven days this is the follow-up so ChatGPT will help you break that down by just asking like hey can you create a follow-up process on potential clients for our business next task they can use ChatGPT for is travel management so in travel management you might be you know booking a flight or creating an event for your client and there you have to go to keep in mind that ChatGPT can't actually access the internet so you can ask it for advice or templates or processes that you can then follow as you are setting up the travel for your client. So what this can look like is one, asking ChatGPT create a itinerary like, hey, you know, my client is going for 15 days to Thailand. Can you create a travel itinerary? Keeping in mind that, you know, the first two days is going to be the conference, but they want to go to museums, to malls, blah, blah, blah. Again, it will craft that up for you. Another way that you can use ChatGPT is to create a travel checklist. So this could be just a list of essentials for your client. It could also be a list of things that they need to double check before they leave the house, whatever that could look like, but they can create that for you. Again, based on what you feed it about your clients, priorities and things that they want to make sure is there before they leave. Next way that you can use ChatGPT for admin tasks is for research. Again, it can't really look up the internet. It can't. The most recent information that it has is up to 2021, so it might not be updated. But you can ask it to one, create a research process for you of where to look, you know, how to make sure that it is the right thing, how to be able to generate it as a report. And speaking of, you can just also ask ChatGPT. You can throw in the research that you just did and ask it to summarize it to be able to be created into a report. So then it'll create it in bullet points, including it. It will create it in any format that you would like, but you can just also ask ChatGPT that from this big research that you just did, hey, can you create a report out of it that I can give to my client? Next task you can use with ChatGPT is creating assets. So when it comes to creating assets, it's making sure that you have a way that you have a basically just a process documented of how things work in your client's company. One is you can ask it to create a documentation. In the last uh, week, we've actually asked ChatGPT to create 74 standard operating procedures with like the prompts that we have inside of AI Prompt Assistant, which has been amazing. So it has helped us streamline, like, hey, this is how we do things. Just in case people didn't know, this is how we do things. And we did that, again, by setting up ChatGPT in the best way, knowing about our business. And of course, we tweaked it a lot ourselves when we actually got it. But it was so much easier rather than having to document every single step. It will take probably us weeks to do it, but ChatGPT helped us make it in 48 hours. Another asset that you can create for your client with ChatGPT are templates. Again, either just the email templates, calendar invite templates, or it could be documentation or actual contracts. Now, of course, consult a professional, but you can ask ChatGPT to create out a draft of a agreement or a contract for your client to be able to use, and then it would be able to produce that for you. So then you have a template that you can use moving forward. Another way you can use ChatGPT for creating assets is for creating lead generation products. So what that is, is for example, for us at 2 xu we have a product called 103 Tasks to Delegate to an Assistant. That is something that people will have to sign up to get access to. So these are examples you can ask ChatGPT, hey, what would be really good lead generation products or PDFs or giveaways that we can give to potential clients so they would want to talk with us. So then ChatGPT will give you the list and you can actually then ask ChatGPT, hey, can you create that for me? And I'll create that first draft for you. Next way you can use ChatGPT for admin tasks is for customer support. Just like how we can create email responses, you can also ask ChatGPT to create responses to common queries. So from time to time, if you have a question that you've seen a lot, you can ask like, hey, can you create a template that can you use to respond to this question? That way ChatGPT will generate something like, hey, name. So you only have to then change the response to the person's name. So then you have that template always moving forward. Another way you can use ChatGPT for it is to get technical support. So let's say you're stuck on something. Let's say it's another tool that one of your clients is using and you don't have no idea how to get there. So as a good example, let's say your client is using Notion and they need you to create a specific database or a specific process, just a little bit of technical support. You can ask ChatGPT, hey, how can I do this? And ChatGPT will give you 
so far well, for the best that it's known a good process that you can do to work things out Another admin task you can use ChatGPT for is onboarding clients. You can ask ChatGPT to one, create a process tracker so then you know which stage of the onboarding they are. And also, of course, creating templates for replies. Just, the, just like the one that we did earlier, you can create what would be a good reply for each part of the onboarding process. Another task you can use with ChatGPT is for CRM management or customer relations management. So basically, as you're gathering different data for your client or of your client, you can ask ChatGPT to create a good tagging system so you know who's who, and also a good way to organize the data, again, based on what data you already have. You can ask ChatGPT to create labels, folders, and a filing system for you so it's easy for you to manage that CRM. And one of the biggest tasks you can use for ChatGPT with your admin tasks is for project management. You can ask ChatGPT to create a process for you of how you can manage this particular process. You can ask it to create basically breaking down the steps and the deadlines of when they should be expected. And of course, creating a tracking system. So it's easy for you as a project manager to follow the process along and be able to send in follow-ups as needed. Using ChatGPT has been a game changer for us, for a lot of our assistants in 2 xu So I hope that it's going to be a game changer for you as well. If you guys want more content like this, make sure to sign up at least for being able to get our AI prompt assistance. So then you will have access to it and also any other tips that we have when it comes to using ChatGPT for day-to-day -day work as a virtual assistant. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what other ways have you used ChatGPT? I would love to know. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Remember that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!